So here we're going to talk about the cut mesh by curve function. It is available in the edit set, set of functions and it's the top middle one. Now to cut mesh by um, curve you need to pick a curve and the tool for that is immediately available. So for instance imagine we want to uh, pick a mask shape of this scan of a human face. We can start by clicking for a dot and then we can set a Bezier curve in the direction we want to go. Now you can in fact make a corner by a double click. So if you double click you can head off in a different direction and at a right angle. If you just click once you just get the Bezier curve. So I'm actually going to continue here as if I'm not doing a corner and I'm going to try and get my best guess at a mask outline for this person. Now you can pick more than one curve so when you get to the end of the curve you uh, if you're going to pick a closed curve you double click and as you move away you can see this trailing line you press escape and now you have one curve already picked. You can adjust this curve. You can return to a point and make small adjustments to it. Try and make it a bit more symmetrical um, in this case. And you can even add points and you can add another curve. So you can start from here and add a section across here. Now this doesn't make a lot of sense for our finishing with a double click. And you can keep adding curves you could divide up the whole face this way. I'm going to stop here and once you've got, if the curves are valid, in other words they've been properly picked and they're closed, they turn white. You can still at this point edit anything you want to edit. So I'm now going to choose apply and it cuts them into three patches, the remainder and the two that you can see colored here. So I'm happy with that. I click OK and now I've got, if I turn off the original mesh, I've got this in its three parts. And these can be exported separately. They can be even put back to bed together with our combine function and exported as an OBJ file where the receiving software will see the joins between the patches. So you can export multiple patches in a single OBJ file, but you cannot do that with an STL file. So that's how you can use cut to curve the mesh function that comes with peel to CAD, but does not come with the basic peel software.